Two Rivers Police is providing an update this afternoon as the search for Elijah Vu continues. Police say searches conducted at the landfill are now complete. The searches took place on the West Twin River by the DNR. As those search efforts continue, Fox 11 is digging deeper into the criminal complaint that lays out the days leading up to the toddler's disappearance. Fox 11's Emily Matasek walks us through that timeline. We have now changed count one to chronic neglect as party to the crime. Elijah Vu's mother, Katrina Bauer, wiped away tears as Manitowoc County District Attorney Jacqueline Labrie announced additional child neglect charges are being filed against her. We have also added the count four, which involves neglect to another child who is six years old from February 14th. According to court documents, Katrina Bauer's cell phone records have her arriving at Jesse Vang's apartment in Two Rivers just before 2.30 a.m. on February 14th. That's two days after she gave Elijah Vu to Jesse Vang so he could teach him how to be a man. In the car with her that morning, the criminal complaint says, is her six-year-old daughter. Bauer exchanging text messages with Vang about leaving her daughter in the car while she comes into the apartment for sex. Then at 3.13 a.m., with her daughter alone in the car outside in temperatures ranging from 36 to 27 degrees, court documents say a photo of Elijah Vu was taken on Bauer's phone inside Jesse Vang's apartment. The criminal complaint says the picture, which was deleted about an hour after it was taken, showed Elijah Vu laying on a bed blindfolded. It also appeared he had bruising on his jawline, the left side of his neck, and on the upper part of his left arm. Bauer's cell phone records have her leaving Two Rivers at about 4.30 in the morning on February 14th, but they also show she returned to Manitowoc County two days later. Before her return, late at night on February 16th, we know after speaking with the owner of Ross Auto Service in Two Rivers, who also shared surveillance camera pictures with us, Jesse Vang brought Elijah Vu into his shop that morning. The shop owner saying Vu was quiet but didn't seem to be in distress. Later that night, court documents show Katrina Bauer returned to Manitowoc before arriving at Vang's Two Rivers apartment just after midnight on February 17th. Cell phone data tracking the two to Manitowoc, where they split up for a bit before returning to Vang's apartment together. Bauer telling authorities she saw her son on Vang's couch, but he was tired, adding she left Two Rivers early on the morning of February 17th. Then on February 18th, Vang and Bauer exchanged text messages. Vang telling Bauer to, quote, trust me, I'm going to make sure he hates me and being here. Bauer responds, don't want him to hate you, just fear you. Jesse Vang later saying via text, quote, he did fear me, but he didn't respect me. Now I'm making him respect me. Two days later, Jesse Vang reported Elijah Vu missing. Authorities saying they've been unable to find anyone other than Vang or Bauer who cared for Elijah on February 16th and 17th. Police asking people to review surveillance cameras for footage from February 19th between 2 and 9 p.m. Of this 1997 four-door Nissan Altima, beige in color with Wisconsin license plate beginning with an A and ending with a zero. While authorities have said Bauer and Vang are not the owners of the car, they haven't said why they're looking to track its whereabouts. The two not offering any information to authorities about where Elijah Vu may be. Katrina Bauer's attorney saying her client is distraught about her missing son. There's a, a, a lot of... Um High emotion going on, but there's also high emotion going on with Ms. Bauer. She's been worried sick, not knowing where her son is. The district attorney disputing that claim when talking about Bauer's involvement with Jesse Vang the day her son was reported missing. She also was encouraging the co-actor not to cooperate with law enforcement on February 20th. Um, she was messaging the co-actor to not say too much. Um, don't don't let them or no don't talk uh ask for an attorney all of this while volunteers continue to hold out hope they'll find this little boy emily matesic fox 11 news both bauer and bang are scheduled to be back in court on march 15th and you can read the full criminal complaint against katrina bauer as well as bauer and jesse bang's thursday court appearances on our website. You can find that at fox11online.com.
Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Today marks 18 days since an Amber Alert was issued for three-year-old Elijah Vu, last seen in Two Rivers. Search efforts continue, but still no sign of the little boy. For the first time, volunteers searched in the Green Bay area today. They largely focused on the Baird Creek trails on the city's east side. Law enforcement was not involved in organizing or taking part in the search. About 50 people participated. One organizer says no one should be giving up hope. Anywhere we can search is where we should search. Everywhere, you know, every city should be searching at this point. He could be anywhere. Two Rivers Police did not post any new updates today. The one for yesterday continues to encourage people to check surveillance footage from 2 to 9 p.m. on February 19th. Look for a beige 1997 Nissan Altima with a license plate starting in A and ending in O. Please remind the public that no tip or bit of information is too small. Anyone who may have seen Elijah or knows where he is is urged to call the number on your screen, 844-267-6648. And tonight near Wisconsin Dells, people gathered for a vigil for Vu. Balloons, candles, and pictures were placed at a tree where neighbors say Vu played. Vu lived in Wisconsin Dells with his mother, Katrina Bauer. Police have said Vu was in Two Rivers for the week with Bauer's boyfriend when he disappeared. Both the mother and the boyfriend are in jail on child neglect charges. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. For the past 20 days, we've been telling you about the ongoing search efforts to find three-year-old Elijah Vu reported missing in Two Rivers. While frustrating for volunteers, they continue to hold out hope, scouring parts of northeast Wisconsin looking for any sign of the little boy. And as Fox 11's Andrew Mertens reports, the mission is attracting more who want to help. Since Elijah Vu was reported missing on February 20th, people from far and wide have been helping the Vu family search for the young boy. Even if there was nothing, at least we're here trying to, to bring Elijah home. That includes Tara Michaels, who drove nearly four hours with her family Sunday to do their part. I couldn't even imagine thoughts, the family, what they're going through, or even this little boy. You don't know. and. It, it tears you up. It's it's awful. After searching in the Michicot area, Tara and her family returned to the Mikado Theater in Manitowoc, which has been used as a hub for search efforts by the Vu family. Others like Annette Geimer were looking near County Road F in Manitowoc County for any sign of Elijah. It's not just because I have children. Children need us, and they're thrown aside like they don't matter. And they do. On Saturday, volunteer searches expanded beyond Manitowoc County. In Green Bay, roughly 50 people came together to search the Baird Creek trails. If it were my kids that were missing, I want the world looking, so I'm here to help any way I can. Law enforcement was not involved with Saturday's search in Green Bay. It also didn't involve the Vu family, but they are appreciative of people willing to look anywhere. Sunday marked 20 days of searching for Elijah. While lots of time has passed, people are still holding out hope that they will find him. That little boy needs all of us to look for him. Because he's just a little baby. Be here and just keep looking and searching. And I know the efforts, I know people get tired, and I know the weather isn't always cooperative, but for this little boy, I mean, most of us have families, please. In Manitowoc County, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. Two Rivers Police did not provide an update this weekend on search efforts by law enforcement. There's a $25,000 reward for any information that leads to the discovery of VOO.